Um, so tonight's video is going to be a personal one for me because it's going to be about my transition on becoming a single parent. So Isla's dad, Tom, and I, we broke up when Isla was only two months old. And it's not like any other breakup I've ever been through before because I've never shared a child with someone else before. So it's not just a case of, you know, moving out with that person or, or giving your stuff back to that person. It is a case of you can't just delete that person from your life. You can't just say, right, we've broken up. I don't ever want to see you again. It's we share a child together. So it's time to, you know, be mature and be adults about the situation. And for me, that was really, really difficult at first because obviously there's a lot of emotions flowing around. There's there's anger, there's, there's tears. There's just a whirlwind of emotion that I can't, I can't even put it into words because I'd never felt like it before. I felt like my whole... My whole entire world had just come crashing down on me and that I just didn't see how I could be a single parent. I didn't think I was strong enough and I didn't think I was capable enough of doing it, you know, on my own. And it was just, you know, it was a constant, a constant fear. And guilt, I felt so, so guilty on Isla that her parents couldn't be together and that we couldn't work out. I mean, we'd only been together, you know, a few a few months when I fell pregnant. We barely knew one another. I mean, I didn't know Tom's favourite colour yet, like, let alone if I wanted to have a baby with him. So I think there was a lot of pressure on us from the start. We did, you know, what people do in five or ten years within nine months and I was pregnant and we didn't really get that time to get to know each other and just go out and learn about each other because all of a sudden you're having a baby together and you have this massive response you know we were we were together through my pregnancy and we broke up when Isla was she was two months old and I mean I remember my mum finding out and just being like everything looked so perfect on your Instagram and your Facebook and all your tweets and I just thought yeah but doesn't everyone do that? You know, you put pictures up of your life and you don't, you post the good stuff, you never post the bad stuff, you don't post a picture after you just had not, you know, people didn't think we were having problems and it wasn't all rainbows and sunshine at all, it was, you know, it was more, it was more of a storm than it was sunshine, which is really, really hard and really, you know, I, I still struggle to open up about just how unhappy we both were for such a long time because I think we both tried to just deny the fact that we were unhappy and you keep going oh we'll brush that under the carpet and you know next week will be better or tomorrow will be better and in a few months time we'll feel differently and that time never comes and you know sometimes you have to sit down and you have to you know reevaluate your life and think that you can't just be with someone because you have a baby with them you really really can't you have to love that person, you have to be in love with them and want to be with them because parents who don't want to be together because it's not a way for anybody to live because, you know, I would rather she grew up with two parents who, you know, have respect for each other and care for one another but aren't together, which I like to think that me and Tom have. I mean, it's taken us a while to get here. I mean, Isla is, she's five months old nearly, so I've been a single mum and he's been a single dad for three months which is oh it's just crazy to say it still doesn't it's hit me obviously I, I've accepted it and I've realized how strong I am and that actually I, I'm a lot I'm a lot more capable than I ever thought I could be and I, oh, I feel really proud of how far I've come in the last three months but you know it's never it's never gonna be what I wanted. I would much rather still be in love with him and still it's been a long road getting to the to where we are now. I mean we still argue, we still have bickers because we're going to, we're gonna do it for the rest of her life. There's gonna be things that we don't agree on, there's gonna be things that he thinks are right and things that I don't and vice versa. But we are very, very respectful to, for, towards one another. We're very neutral towards one another and it's so much nicer. It is so much nicer that way. He's a really, really, really good dad. He's He loves her so much. And that's what the matters at the end of the day. If he loves her 
and he looks after her and he sees her, then really what else matters? Nothing. So, yeah, you've just got to keep that mutual respect for one another because I think that's just key. And try and keep family members and friends out of it as much as possible because when when other people get involved, that's when it gets really tricky and really hard because you know you're you're saying one thing to one person another to another and then it gets back and it's just you know try and keep your relationship with your baby's mother or father separate to anything else that would be my my key bit of advice and i think the next step for me is obviously not anytime soon but me and Tom have had the discussion of obviously at some point we will be meeting other people and when we meet someone that we want to be in Isla's life we we've decided that obviously we're going to have we're going to in introduce her but obviously let the other parent know what is going on who this person is because I think that's what I'm going to really struggle with is not the jealousy of Tom being with someone else it's the jealousy of my daughter being with someone else and another woman being in her life and that is really breaks my heart because I don't want someone else in her life but I know there will be and I have to be an adult about it and I just hope whoever it is is lovely and cares about her the way that I do and I know I know that he will meet someone lovely and I, I hope I meet someone lovely but that's just when the feelings are going to kind of erupt again I guess because another person being in your child's life as you know, not necessarily a mother or father role, but as a, a male and female influence that's permanent and, you know, quite present, it's, that's going to be really tough for both of us. So that's the next step, I guess. But when that happens, that's something, you know, you have to cross when it happens. And until then, it's just, I try not to think about it too much. And I enjoy my time with her. And Tom enjoys his time with her. Yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave any comments below if you have any questions or anything and I'll answer them. And also follow the lovely ladies at Channel Mum. Thank you. Bye.